Okay, then. Let's take a statement. All right. Talk. I did not willfully flout my Heavenly Father's wishes. So, you're saying John made it up? To protect the person that did stab me. All right. Who stabbed you? The person who really stabbed me. The person who stabbed me is John McBain. That's your statement? Take notes, Lieutenant. It'll help. Yes. John McBain threatened to kill me with his bare hands while I was in custody. At first I thought it was just macho posturing until Natalie came in. I had made a simple observation and Lieutenant McBain lost control of himself. Are you getting this? I'm listening. Don't you want to ask what I said? So, um... Probably shouldn't be here. No, I'm not leaving. You see that, Lieutenant? Pay attention. It'll tell you everything. Just finish your statement, Lawrence. What I said was... that I hoped... Detective McBain wasn't still carrying a torch for my favorite bride. Because, I said, I had plans for her. I said that I enjoyed nothing more than seeing Natalie squirm. That I loved to hear her squeal with delight. Roddy, write it down. Write down every word that comes out of his mouth. When you take Natalie out of here? You see that? Look into his eyes. If you weren't here to protect me, I'd be a dead man by now. What are you waiting for? Arrest him! Natalie, John's right. You probably should wait outside. Let her stay. I want a witness. I just told you, John McBain tried to kill me. You're supposed to arrest him now. What's the call? You know that! his permission? Did they give you a grown-up badge? A junior? Along with your rule book? Take a day if you want. That's the cleanest way to do it. There is nothing clean about Be this. Be quiet. Who? Oh. What's the deal, Lieutenant? Hmm? Are you in his pocket? What does I do with a statement like that? Are you hearing this? My darling, they are planning my assassination. Brody. It's a lie. Natalie, don't say anything. No, I cannot let him ruin your life. Don't. Oh, come on. Let her shine, John. This is her moment. John didn't stab Mitch. I did. And Dorian? You don't look surprised, Lieutenant Lovett. Well, I'm listening. How should I look? You just got a confession from the lovely Natalie. I also got a statement from you swearing to God and his angels and the whole wide world that John McBain did it. You just tried to bully me into arresting him. Now, do you want to take that back? I was only trying to protect Natalie. I guess McBain and I are both suckers for redheads. You don't talk. You see that fire? There's a killer. But you knew that, didn't you? I'm just taking down everything you say. You were on the scene right after it happened. You knew what happened. You knew it smelled wrong right from the very beginning. I wouldn't kill myself because I was afraid of going to prison. I wasn't going to prison, and I knew it. Really? Yeah, the charges in California were dropped, and the murders here in Landview all pointed to Jared Banks. That's because you framed him. There it is again, Natalie. Now, this fairy tale was all that John could come up with to cover the fact that Natalie stabbed me. I think this is his third story in less than an hour. You were there. You saw the evidence. You saw the weapon. Do you remember what the letter opener looked like? Not really. Do you? Yes. It is seared in my brain. It had the initials JB on it. JB, Jared Banks. Okay, I'll take a look when I get back to the stage. It won't be there. 
John grabbed a substitute without Jared's initials. So I'm gonna know John framed you because the weapon won't be the one you say John or maybe Natalie actually used to stab you? John brought the fake weapon with him so he could put my prints on it to make the frame stick. Go ahead, search him! Search John McBain and you will find the weapon you're looking for. Why aren't you moving? Because you're insane? Everybody knows it? Do your job. Search him now! Brody, your friends are putting you in a terrible position, aren't they? You're failing to search for evidence that John McBain is hiding right here in front of you. I have no reason to believe that. Sure you do. Look at them. Go ahead, look. You can see the truth, Brody. You can never escape the truth. That's something that you learned at St. Anne's, isn't it? You had killed a young boy. You couldn't escape that. You can't escape this either. Brody, search him. Save your soul. You know what? I can't. I can't let you do this, either one of you. Nobody believes you, Lawrence. You are letting me take the rap for a crime that Natalie committed. You know, you can talk day and night. You can't prove anything. You're gonna put your neck on the line for these two? You think Natalie is gonna hold up? She's a basket case. Shut up, Mitch. Well, here's the deal. No, you don't make deals. You got nothing to offer. Fair. This suicide story is not gonna stick. One of you will do time for stabbing me. I vote for John. Take the rap, John, and Natalie will walk free. No, no deal with the devil. I stabbed you, Mitch, and we all know I did. I tried to kill you, and I wish I had. Look what you have done to her, John. Your investigation drove Jared to his death. And no, now you're lying. you killed Jared. John, this is your chance for redemption. Natalie's going to prison for a very long time. The truth will come out. Nobody will be prosecuted for trying to kill you, Lawrence. You sure about that? Absolutely. You just, you done too much damage, Lawrence. Say anything you want. Nobody's gonna believe you. You got no credibility, you got no power. Let's go. Time's running out, John. Confess, and Natalie goes free. How's it going? Everybody okay? He sees something. He can't prove anything. I will not let you go to prison for me. Nobody's going to prison. He stabbed himself. His prints are on the weapon. And where is that weapon? It'll be in the evidence locker when you go to get it. And if I had searched you right now, did you bring that letter opener here to get Mitch's fingerprints? Brody, the evidence will be where it's supposed to be. And you're going to make a full report to IA about any contradictory statements. Tell them everything that was said. Really? Yeah. I want you clean. Tell them everything and just hand it over. John's right, Brody. You were in there, just hand it over. Forensics will run every test in the book on that letter opener. If they pick up anything, I'll handle it. Seriously, I do not want you to make this your problem. You should probably go home and get some rest. Remember what I said? You won't come to that.